Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a Galarian Weezing deck with some new cards from Lost Origin in it, most notably the Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. Um, I think this new Hisuian Sneasler, um, or Radiant Hisuian Sneasler, makes Weezing a lot better um, and kind of can make its own deck now, along with a really powerful new support card to go along with it. So let's just get right into it. So, right off, we have four copies of Weezing. Um, or Galarian using this is the one from Robo, Robo Clash um, that has the neutralizing gas ability that says as long as this Pokemon is in the aqua spot, um, your opponent's Pokemon in play have no abilities except for neutralizing gas. So basically, this just turns off every single good ability. Um, turns off Star Wars, it turns off Drizzle, turns off um, you know Italian, turns off Quick Shooting, turns off Star Portal, turns off Rain Greninja, it turns off every single ability. Um, it even turns off Jolteon Memory Capsule, which actually makes this deck a lot better into the new Jolteon deck that did very well with Worlds. Um, so neutralizing, ga neutralizing gas is really good. I can just stop your opponent in their tracks, prevent them from setting up their board, which is really, really good. Um, and we have the attack here, Severe Poison for one Dark Energy, which poisons your opponent's out of Pokemon. You put four damage counters instead of one on it um, in between turns. Now, before the Radiant Hisuian Sneasler, four damage counters was just like barely not enough. Like, um, you just need to let us a little bit more damage than this um, would have been really, really nice. And that is what the Hisuian Sneasler is going to do. But of course, first we need to have our coughings to evolve. Um, and our, we're running four of them as well. Um, so four coughing and four glaring amusing. Um, the coughing does have ascension for one dark energy. Um, that says search a deck for card that evolves from its Pokemon, put it onto it to evolve it, which means you can turn one. If you go second, turn one. Um, ability lock, which means no matter what, if you're having a good setup, you're going to be only giving your opponent a single turn of abilities um, in like the good in like a good chunk of the game. Um, and Ascension is really good at just turn one. Just I have a wasting now in the active, um, and you can't do anything about it. Um, so um, four copying, four wheezing, just a really wheezing focused deck. Then we have four copies of Sobble and four copies of Drizzle because you know that's just the engine of the deck. Um, and Drizzle and Talion is just a very very good. Um, couple of very good very good cards we also have of course have the Italians to go along with them one copy of the shaggy dealings Italian um because it's really nice for finding our combo pieces if we need um, and then two copies of the quick shooting um which is um something that a lot of decks dropped um i think kind of like early fusion strike i think this started happening a lot of decks started dropping down on the quick shooting camps a lot of decks early um in the in the um, sword and shield evolving skies format played like one Cheney Dealings and two or maybe even three quick shooting. Like I remember Rapishrek Urshifu um played like like three quick shooting, I think. Because Zul's list that won the full grip tournament here. Um just give me a second. I need to click a couple of things here. Um Azul's list that won the full grip tournament. Um, um only I th I played one Cheney Dealings and three quick shooting in new scoop of net. Uh, and now lists are tend to lean towards more like one quick shooting, two shady dealings. Um, sometimes even no quick shooting, just two shady dealings. Um, but we're going back to the roots um, with two quick shooting and reasons because quick shooting is really, really good alongside wheezing um, because you want more damage. The more damage, the better because you want to get as much value as you can out of a single wheezing with poisoning and ability locking. Um, and Italian is just really good at doing that. Um, now, the Radiant Hustine Slings are the thing I th that I think kind of makes this deck good from Astral Radiance. Um, I actually have a real one I got from pre release, which is really, really cool. Um, Radiant Hustine Slings has the ability Poison Peak. This says during Poison Checkup, or sorry, during Pokemon Checkup, put two damage counters, or put two more damage counters on your opponent's Poison Pokemon, which means that Severe Poison, um, instead of putting um, just four damage counters in between turns with the Poison, it puts six. And six is a key, key number. Because um, six damage counters in just one turn, you can knock out a Sobble. Before, with Weezing to knock out a Sobble, you either had to have a Quick Shooting, um, which you can only get on turn three um, minimum, um, or you probably had to pass that Sobble active. And most of the time, I feel like they're going to um, retreat that Sobble. Um, and even if they don't, like it's still not um, as efficient as just one killing the Sobble and one um, Poison um, like ping, I guess. Um, but right these, these, these are... Um, really, really good for bringing that poison up to 60, knock out Sobbles. It can also um, knock out Crobats. If you poison them, they take 60 going to their turn, they take 60 going to your turn, and then finally, if you pass it back over to them, the Crobat takes 60 and is knocked out. Same thing works for Luminion. Um, also, 
um, if your opponent takes um, like 240 damage from poison with the Sneasler in play, um, then just two quick shootings will finish off a of V-Star, like your average V-Star, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so really, he's suing Sneasler, I think, makes the, the Weezing so much, so much better. Um, but that, that that is not all. We also have a couple other cards. One copy of Galarian Moltres, um, which has the cool, or sorry, the, the uh, Malevolent Charge ability that says when you pick put it from your hand onto your bench, just attach two Dark Energy cards from your hand to it. Um, and then the Fiery Wrath, Dark Dark Colorless, 20 damage plus 15 more damage um, for um, each prize card your opponent's taken. So if they've taken five prize cards, they have one prize card left, you're hitting 270. Uh, 270 along with a couple quick shootings. Is, um, can knock out V stars, even V maxes. Um, Fire Wrath is just really, really good attack. Um, and since we are almost entirely single prize, if we play one multi prizer, um, Fire Wrath is really, really good um, at doing maximum 270 damage, which is really nice. And then the other other attack we have um, one copy of Stable IV. Um, and Stable IV has the attack Crazy Claws. This is kind of like a card that was kind of lost to time, I think. It used to be played a lot in these like Weezing decks. Um, back in Fusion Strike format, um, Sableye V with the Crazy Claws, dealing 10 damage and then 60 more damage for each damage counter opponent's active Pokemon for just 2 Dark Energy, um, which is really, really strong, especially when your opponent is taking 60 damage every um, in between turns because of Poison. Also, you have to have access to Quick Shooting. Crazy Claws can hit some mm, just monstrous damage really, really quickly, um, and it's not that hard to power up thanks to Raihan as well. It's really easy to pull off a Swift. Um, Sableye V knockout with Crazy Claws. It's usually going to be a, a really good finisher as well. If something's on your on your opponent's bench that you've been just building quick shooting damage, maybe they retreated a poison Pokemon um, that has 60 damage on it minimum. Um, Sableye V is just going to be able to nuke that, um, and it's a really really good finisher along with the Galarian Moltres. Galarian Moltres doesn't get there. Um, and then finally, one copy of Manaphy um, because we need to protect against Spreading Greninja. Now going into our supporter cards, we have four copies of Marnie. Um, which, you know, Marnie plus Ability Lock, or Marnie plus Item Lock, um, all these things, Hand Disruption plus certain other disruption effect, like Ability Lock, Item Lock, is super, super good. We've seen that versus with, um, with Mew. Um, Mew um, is really bad against um, Marnie Path sometimes, if they don't draw out of it, also Rock Sand Path. Same kind of logic applies here. We're going to Ability Lock with Weezing as soon as possible, as well as throw down a couple Marnies to hope our opponent bricks a little bit more than they usually would, because you have... Um, that um, neutralizing gas turning off the, their abilities like the Drizzile, Starbirth, um, the Barrel, um, Industrious and Sisters, things like that. Um, so Marnie, really, really good card. And then the next supporter card we have that's also a four of is a new card from Lost Origin. It's called Arzu, I think, Arizu. I don't know, my brother, um, I told him what Arzu did, um, or Arizu. And he was like, no, you say it Arzu, not Arizu. I was like, okay, whatever, man. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm going to say Arizu because it makes him angry. Um, anyway, um, Arzu, search your deck for up to three evolution Pokemon um, that don't have a rule box revealed and put them in your hand. Um, that is insane. Our Almost our entire deck is evolution Pokemon that don't have rule boxes. We only have one rule box Pokemon, or sorry, two rule box Pokemon in the deck, and they're both basics. Um, so Arz Arizu is really, really good. Because um, we can get out multiple Weezing, but most more importantly, it can get out quick shooting if you need, it can get multiple Drizziles. Sometimes this Arzu just says, search your deck for three cards, so you can get triple Drizzile, um, which is insane. Arzu is super, super good, um, and it's definitely a main staple. Um, it's Honestly, there's not many turns where you don't want to see Arzu. Um, so Arzu is super, super good. Uh, two copies of Boss's Orders, because um, we need to be able to boss things, um, as well as our Weezing. Um, potentially, if your opponent doesn't have access to their abilities, our Weezing... In combination with boss can boss stall and then keep getting the poison damage, which is cool. One copy of research because research is super super solid, and sometimes our Marnies we don't want to Marnie our opponent because they're already bricking things like that. Professor's research good for that. One copy of Raihan so we can use it to power up our Sableye V. And finally, one copy of Clara, which is mainly useful for getting back our Galarian Moltres and Dark Energies all in one sweep. Can also be useful if our opponent decides to target on right, right, he's doing the Sneasler, or if they decide to target on multiple Sawl. Also getting back a 1-1 um, one, one Weezing line can be nice. Um, if the 4-4 four, four that we already have plus Ordinary Rod isn't enough, um, maybe we prize a couple of our Weezing pieces and Ordinary Rod, maybe we had to discard it or something, I don't know. Um, Clara's good in a lot of different situations. Moving on to our item cards, four copies of Level Wall, um, which I shouldn't have to explain much. It gets a Coughing Turn 1, it gets a Sobble Turn 1, and it gets a Drizzile Super Duper Versatile card. Almost never a bad sign when we see a Level Ball. Three copies of Quick Ball, um, 
because it can be used to get our rating. He's using Scissor. It's good, more, you know, more Pokemon turn one. Now, the reason we don't have four is because it does have to discard a card in your hand. Um, and a lot of the time on the early turns, it's not as good as um, Level Ball. Um, but Quick Ball, nonetheless, is still super, super solid, allowing us to discard a card from our hand. Search for a basic. It can get out our Sneasler as soon as we need. It can get out our Moltres from our deck late in the game. Same with Sableye. Um, so Quick Ball does a lot of uses. Um, but we're not we're not running the full four because level ball is things are just generally more powerful and efficient card in this deck. Then we have three copies. Uh, no, sorry, that's a evolution. That's three copies of Scubinet. Um and Scubinet is really really good at um, we're using our quick shootings if we need that. We're using our shady dealings mainly, um, like our on Talion. Really really good, but can also be used for switching, like so we can switch into our stable IV. Or we can switch into our Galarian Moltres on the final knockout that we need. Two copies of Evolution Incense, and the reason we're not running three or even four is because we have four copies of Arzu, which can fulfill, sometimes can fill the same or even better purpose. Um, and that's, yeah, that's the only reason we have an Arzu and four level wall already. If we need to find that Drizal, we're probably going to be able to do that with the level walls that we have. Two copies of uh, Energy Search. So we can find our energies, especially for late game with Galarian Moltres sometimes. We need, still need to find a couple less energies in the deck. Um, and go for that. Also, finding our energy um, for our Galarian Weezings is also super important sometimes. And finally, one copy of Ordinary Rods. We can shuffle back um, energies, um, and, but mainly our Pokemon, like our um, Sableye may maybe, if we start that. Um, we can get it back into the deck later in the game. Um, like I mentioned, same thing with Clara. I can get back, um, right? He's doing his here. If your opponent decides to target that, that down, Manaphy versus Palkia. And then Stadiums. We have two copies of Training Courts um, because Path does shut off our rate. He's doing his But if we're able to counter the pass on the same turn, we use this with a Severe Poison. It'll still not still knock out a Sawal. Um, and it'll still do this at least um, 60 damage in between turns. Your opponent plays the Path again, then it'll do 40 coming back into your turn. But, you know, 100 damage is still not bad. And then we have energies, which is going to be seven dark energy. Um, and the reason we're not running more is because we have four copies of energy, sorry, three copies of energy search and two training courts. We're going to have plenty of time to find our energy. And all our attacks are really cheap as well. Um, you know, Weezing costs only one. Moltres charges itself up. Stable, we have Raihan for that. All of our attackers are really not hard to power up. So seven dark energy will do the job nicely. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you guys liked it, don't really leave a like. If you guys want to see more things like this, don't forget to subscribe. I do content like this all the time, uh, especially future format stuff with these new cards. Um, and yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.